Plankton includes all the organisms that actually cannot move actively through the water column, so they are dispersed in the water column and they are passively moving with the currents. Phytoplankton are specifically the plankton that photosynthesize. And to do that, they have pigments. That same pigmentation seen from space is what gives ocean water its color. And we can tell how much phytoplankton is there. Hopefully, someday in the future, we'll be able to tell what kind of phytoplankton, just based on the color of the water. And then another major goal is to also, from space, be able to make accurate predictions about what they're doing and how they're affecting chemical processes. So we need to actually observe that in the ocean, first of all, before we can make that big leap to the global scale in the satellites. So I'm doing all the imaging on board, that's why I have the microscope, but I'm also picking out particles, individual particles, using the microscope. So then back on land, I'll do all of the molecular analysis. Are those spines connected yeah. to the cell? Oh, is it a diatom? Yeah. Is it a, a catasteris? Uh-huh. Yay! <laughs> I can't go any better than that, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we were analyzing images, pretty much discussing the, the, the beautiful diversity that we're seeing, um, and it's effectively giving us a view of this amazing view of the diversity of the plankton in the ocean. Should we go to the next sample? Ah, here we go. <laughs> I love that one. The exercising, the exercising, the dog. Is it the dividing? Uh, I think it's dividing. It could be the first, the first point of division. You see here, like, you, can uh, see, yeah. you, see, you can see the division of the structure. Some of these types of phytoplankton I have never seen before. So it's really great to discuss these images with three of us because all three of us come from a little bit different background. Uh, yes, I do think we are getting great data at high resolution. Um, the fact that we have multiple instruments uh, looking at phytoplankton in different ways. It's pretty exciting to see all of the data that we're getting from this cruise. The phytoplankton is crucial for life on Earth. There's three different aspects of the phytoplankton. It controls our climate, it gives us food, and it gives us oxygen to breathe. So it's really, 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 really important for the life on Earth.